Hey guys, it's Sean. Um, I've got something that is very special to me that helps me put things into perspective. Now it's out in my yard. It's pretty neat. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get going. Let's get outside. You see this tree right here? Well, about six years ago, I noticed it was about this tall. I didn't want to run over it with my backhoe. So I put this piece of wood down here to protect it in case I ran this way I'd notice the wood and keep from running over the tree so now this tree is about this tall its trunk is only about an inch in diameter now why am I telling you this because this thing's probably seven or eight years old and these things take forever to grow in Arizona so I looked around for a juniper log that best represented 100 years of growth and fortunately I found one. Each ring on a juniper tree represents one year of growth. The darker rings represent winter, the lighter rings represent summer. I started with the year 2024 and placed a dot every 10 rings all the way back to 1924, which makes this log 100 years old. Now there's a rule of thumb in our neighborhood and that is when you measure the circumference around a tree, every one foot or 12 inches equals 100 years of age for that tree. However, I have double checked this rule of thumb and found it to be closer to 15 or 16 inches of circumference equals 100 years of growth. Take a look at this big juniper I have in my yard. This thing is huge. It's amazing and it's really, really old. So I'm gonna take this tape measure here and I'm gonna wrap it around the tree and we're gonna just see what the circumference is. And no, I'm not gonna cheat by going under that branch over there. I'm just gonna get this trunk. See this right here? That is 13 feet. This tree is just a little over 13 feet in circumference. So why is this tree important to me? This tree is between 9 and 1100 years old. It has seen so many people come and go. The world has changed so much since this tree was this tall. In fact, when this tree was this big, the Mayan civilization was on the decline. Take a look at this abbreviated list of major world events, as well as very well-known people who lived at the same time this tree was growing up. Genghis Khan, Joan of Arc, Leonardo da Vinci, Christopher Columbus, Michelangelo, Shakespeare. The list goes on and on. Plus, look at all the wars that occurred during this tree's lifetime. So what's my point? My point is that nowadays we get really stressed out about politics, about countries, about world events. And when I sit by this tree, this tree reminds me how in the big picture, that stuff is so unimportant. This tree spent the first 500 years of its life not being claimed by anybody has seen people come and go and this tree has spent a little time being claimed by spain and a little bit of time being claimed by mexico and a little bit of time claimed by the united states and for any one of us to think that our civilization our country our people are just so important and they can never fail never be stopped never never be on the decline like the mayan civilization well this tree here if it could talk it'd probably just laugh at us because look at how much this thing has seen come and go i know it's over here it's not being bothered but we're all out there being stressed out i mean we've had major world wars major disease 
and uh, everything is terrible out there. And then this tree is sitting right here growing. It's still growing. Looks like crap in places, but it's still growing. And uh, I just want to take a little perspective from this tree. So what do you guys think of that old juniper tree? Uh, I think that thing's pretty neat. It does give me some perspective because when we're living life and we're looking at our little phones and we're looking at our TV, the news media loves to send you a ton of bad news all the time through a little lens like that. And here you got this uh, old juniper tree, probably over a thousand years old, and it's sitting there just growing. And it's seeing us come and go. It's seeing civilizations rise and fall. Countries come and go. Leaders come and go. And yet we're all stressed out. And so it's kind of a miniature version of a big picture. It could be like a super microscopic version of eternity. And uh, when you're in the bigger picture, all of these other problems we have, no matter how big. And I've experienced some big ones. No matter how big, they're that big. May not make me feel good all the time, but if I step back and I think of it that way, I don't know, it helps a little. Anything that helps a little, right? Anything. So that's it. Catch you later. Bye. Beulah, the kid.